to the latest episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I am Brian Johannes, and on today's episode, we're going to talk a little Oklahoma running back Rodney Anderson. Here's a guy that, you know, you heard a lot about, and I really, you know, you think of Oklahoma, you think of Baker Mayfield this past year, you think of their explosive uh, receivers, um, and I haven't really watched a whole lot of their running back. Um, and so I was excited to give him a shot, and he has done nothing but disappoint. So uh, what we're going to do, if you're not familiar with these, is we're going to take a look at some of the different things that Rodney Anderson could do um, as a football player. Um, so I'm going to show you a series of clips uh, to look at that and uh, just kind of highlight what, what he can do as a prospect. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at this first clip. And um, <clears throat> what's going to happen is he's going to have to get this ball. He's going to run to his right. And it, he's uh, going to show that ability to stop and start and go. And this is crucial because if he goes to a team that runs a uh, man or gap blocking scheme, um, he's going to have to start, he's going to have to stop, and uh, he definitely shows that here. So as we see here, he's the ball is going to be going um, to his right. He's able to elude this defender right here, gets met with another defender. He's able to make that stop and then make a quick adjustment while getting face masked um, and ended up uh, extending that play and getting uh, the first down. So once again, he's showing... As we replay that clip, okay, he's able to adjust laterally, stop and start, and continue to go on and eke out those tough yards. Okay. Um, another clip of that, as we see here, okay, um, he's going to show the opposite of that. He could play in a zone blocking scheme. So he's going to be making this run to a left. He sees an opening. He's able to put that foot down and really accelerate upfield. So as you see here, going laterally, puts that foot down, finds that crease, and explodes with, you know what, some home run speed. He's able to hit that hole hard and uh, and get that first down. We'll show that clip once again. <clears throat> So as you see here, he hits it, finds the opening, and busts right through, putting that one foot down and go. You see that a lot with the the zone blocking schemes, that outside zone, uh, stretch out, and then you find that cutback lane, and he definitely shows that here. A uh, couple more clips. We'll go here. Um, the thing I liked about Rodney Anderson, he made such explosive but subtle moves too. So here's... He's going to go, he's going to go off to his left, and he's able to make, accelerate through here, and he's able to just make a little subtle cut back upfield. I know it didn't really go anywhere, it's not like he cut back up and went down the right side of the field, but it shows just that ability to just make that subtle cut, right? subtle cuts that are needed to navigate through traffic, and then he just explodes, uh, puts a stiff arm on Roquan Smith, and ends up... Um, with a big chunk play. Another thing about Rodney Anderson is he shows a lot. He shows the ability to generate power. So in this play, um, towards you know in the red zone, he's able to get his speed up, get that momentum going, and he's able to lower the shoulder on those defensive backs to power his way uh, into the end zone. Let me play that without stopping it for you. But you know it just shows that you know at six foot one, uh, two hundred and 19 pounds. He's not a huge back by any stretch of the means, but as you see here, he's going to be able to generate that speed, and by lowering his pad level, he's able to run over those defensive backs and finish the play and get into the end zone. Uh, one last clip that I want to show you. Um, I've showed you all running plays. Rodney Harris can catch the ball too, and, and they didn't throw the ball a ton to him in this game, but early on, this is like the second or third play, um, he's going to run this little swing out, and this ball was was behind him a little bit. And you see, he's able to reach up outside of his frame. You know, he's he's running away and he's reaching back and up, and he's still able to make that catch look flawlessly, catch it, and uh, 
you know, head up field and, and get a nice little, you know, couple yard gain, but that was still a nice play there for Rodney Anderson. Um, as I said, six foot one, 219 pounds. He's got speed, he's got quickness, he's got lateral agility, he's got a good vision. There's not a lot of things to dislike about Rodney Anderson. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. I like him a lot. This running back class, depending, you know, he's only a junior, so you never know when he's going to enter, if it's after this upcoming year or it's in the 2020 draft. Um, he's got the talent to be a starter in this league, and he's got the ability to make an impact. So um, I think whenever he declares he's going to be a coveted running back, one of the top running backs in his class, um, as I said, I, you know, this running back cl- potential 2019 running back class is really looking pretty solid with guys like Rodney Anderson and Justice Hill and uh, Tim Montgomery, Bryce Love. You know, there's four guys there that, that I like quite a bit. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The best way to get these is to subscribe here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's get those up to, uh, you know, 1,000 followers. Um, thousand subscribers. Um, speaking of followers, make sure you follow me at NFL Draft Geek. That's on both Twitter and Instagram. Uh, make sure you follow at NFL Draft Geek and make sure you're hitting up NFLDraftGeek.com for all your draft needs, daily content, uh, year round. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.